Encore took eight years to make. Sub 1K first day a mistake. Top 100 they cannot break. Fat flat bitches keep stepping on rakes. Black myth Wukong past 10 million. Genshin Impact wax Brazilian. Dustborn a seven but Wukong eight. IGN's government funded hate. 94K sign a sexy petition. Concord feels on a 1K mission. Comments hidden what could be finer. Talentless Concord designer. Modern audience MIA. Journos exhausted from all the gay Government funded dustborn division Cancerous tomb a brace for incision Do not mention DEI Inclusive game sent out to die Kihun Chan activist translator Works for the gamer another hater Guardians of ESG Ain't got a damn thing to do with me Pronoun robot are you concussed? Valve's deadlock can now be discussed LGBT so political None of this shit sounds business critical Don't erase now bitch it's too late You should be proud Celebrate No more regression No truth suppression Woke propaganda now out of session 600 players but trolls How are these trolls in the room with us now? Hello beta testers like and subscribe to join over a hundred thousand head scratchers wondering if we're meant to politely nod when some dumb slut calling herself a games journalist says some instantly refutable garbage like there's not enough women in there for it's not diverse so of course you run away because in your article you're citing some other brain damaged skank who's equally ready to run away and she says that she has a lot of faith in her asian translator friend who says shit like this and I'm not meant to show you that because that would be what bullying or some shit when you are a public journalist, even if you work for dog shit publications like The Gamer run by serial asshole EIC Stacy Henley, who, of course, needs to other everybody. That's not as they are, because how dare they be just a cisgender, correct? Fuck yourself. But what I find particularly more amusing than the biased, hypocritical takes from jackasses who were busy trying to boycott the best-selling game of one year is that when a good game like Wukong comes out that is an objectively great thing for the industry, you not only need to put it down and try to cover garbage like Dustborn and Concord much more favorably, but you think that you are entitled to tell other people how to act when... When the shoe's on the other foot, you guys are happy to kick when it's down. Things like Dustborn, funded by the government, have lines in songs saying things like, We're the new porn. Our kind is new born. The fuck that mean? You play as a pregnant black woman with her albino they them friend and a fat vitiligo who has the ability to turn into stone so naturally people will be compelled to compare her to marvel's fantastic fours the thing and well if the shoe that you can't imagine on the other foot fits they rated Wukong an 8 because they said it was buggy, but they also rated Cyberpunk a 9. Girls will love games like Enzoi because secretly they've wanted to be pretty for a long time. Not masculine entity presenting feminine pretty, not MTF pretty, but actual girly pretty. And Asians are going to give that to them because the West is busy injecting all of that political trash and we're kind of done. You know, girls will be the ones to install their wicked whims and murder mystery plots. They want to watch and live through a goddamn podcast they typically listen to. Beta testers, help me understand. These games journalists deliberately use sensational headlines to rage bait people on every side into reading their dog shit articles. Yet, when we discuss their brain damage in a way necessary to bring their gobbledygook to an audience in a way they can understand it, it's like having to explain a TikTok to somebody, man. For those of you who came to suffer through Dustborn with me, I thank you and appreciate you, man. I couldn't have imagined it'd be a story where the darkest one is the one screaming at people and forcing them to do what they clearly don't want to, and they're pregnant, so they're running to the bathroom to vomit and not fucking wash their mouth out. Fucking disgusting. A perfect self-insert game that is truly propaganda funded by the goddamn government and truly... People are done 
It is explosively important that this is happening right now to give relevant developers, including but not limited to Rockstar moving forward, insight into what players want, but more importantly, what people are not willing to purchase. You will be competitive moving into the future, especially as miHoYo will likely own a portion of the world by then. You're welcome for being a lightning rod, but thank Grums and Vara and Smash JT and Hypnotic and whomever is putting that target on their back because naturally the truth threatens their deceptive livelihoods. And now that that jig is up, you can truly see the desperation in some of them. The constant hypocrisy, the need to avoid facts makes these depraved journalists despised. And it's been years, Beta Tester. I've scattered my sentiments to normie cucks who will gain traction, repeating my truth in a much more advertiser-friendly way. But I wager the lot of you feel relatively identical to me. And find the very idea of these cum gargler's speaking for anyone other than the mythical modern audience that doesn't exist laughable. They don't perceive their jobs as tell people which game is better than the other, they perceive themselves as the architect of social change. Of course, I do not condone anyone reaching out or interacting with any of these contagious uh, freaks as they might call us, but they've earned hate for telling lies and propping up woke games in exchange for favors, early access, and best of all, because of racism that they justify by rationalizing that their enemy deserves it for not being as woke as they are or uh, you have to crack an egg to make an omelet type ideology, who cares? The irony of Concord devs calling anyone talentless freaks is that the organic response is, bitch, you made this. And the only reason we hope that you arrive on something like this is because you look like it in real life and you're just like a serial self-inserter, we get a lot of those. Good luck releasing movies for your fucking video game because that's what gamers want instead of a game, jackass. Is that why you hate them? Because you can't make them like what you want them to like. You can't make them like the thing that you're trying to make the game into. So you're trying to change something. We get a lot of that. You probably have a lot in common with the games journalists because they're, they're desperately trying to do the same thing. They're removing Wukong posts over on Reddit because talking about it is not okay. We must be thankful that they've ousted all the heterosexuals and normal people who might have been able to look at something and gauge whether or not it's actually beautiful because now I imagine we're about to see a lot of like attempts at heteroing up a lot of the woke projects that are still going to be coming down the pipes and all we have to do is continue to not buy it. What makes them so wonderfully disingenuous is that their faces are so buried in DEI's crotch that you couldn't get them to articulate what the repulsive aspects of what they're trying to force on people is. And the irony is it's the same thing they run from with TikTok filters and blurring features, makeup. You probably didn't see Enzoi or Crimson Desert at Gamescom. Feels like you should have, right? I show you Doke V and Azor Promelia because I am always trying to show you something. These people shill for Sushi Squad. These people defend SBI. These people boycott best sellers. These people desperately defy to have access denied by Valve. These people are blacklisted by Nintendo. Call me anything you want to call me, motherfucker. You can't call me wrong. We do not care what these entities feel. We care about the games, but these losers jump between us and them to drag them down and make the industry worse by habitually making it about everything but the game. They don't report the actual news so much as what they want the news to be. This lyric from Dustborn pretty much sums up all the woke shit that they like to put in quotation marks and go, what even is woke? Listen to this. We are the aliens. We are the refugees. We walk among you. We are right behind you. Your time is past. Your kind won't last, end quote. You think, you think most of us could even truly push ourselves through this woke garbage, government funding aside? I, I don't need anyone to believe me. I'm confident. And unfortunately, with the bit of talent that I do have, it's not even like so brave as it could be. 
but I am the opposite of the insecure and unentertaining people that you come across every time you're on this platform not watching me. And these entities despise me for reasons that they reveal to me are envy born when my message alone is something they viciously need to silence it must be something good eh, beta tester thank you patrons for keeping the lights on thank you subscribers and likers anybody commenting for pushing these out into the algorithm the likes these things get determines how many eyes will end up seeing it and ears will end up hearing it i wish the big titty beta testers a full cup size growth and to the men you know, I just hope we get a good gun game to play soon, you know? Well, is China gonna have to make that? Korea gonna have to make that too? Western games are so woke, so weak, that freaking America literally can't make a good gun game. And it's because they're worried about wheelchairs and woke instead of the experience. I think Fortnite could release a team deathmatch mode with Halo maps and Valorant maps and whatever bullshit they wanted to do and instantly bring more to the table than most of what we've seen since Halo was good. <laughs> But back in our day, Cortana wasn't so offensive, woke losers are on rooftops, and Penny could have cleavage without it being the end of the world. We'll be back there soon enough. I love you guys, comment, and I'm sure I missed a bunch of amusing stuff going on. Let me know.